Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be talking about another badass band and today I'm going to be talking about Minor Threat. So, uh, let's get started. Uh, Minor Threat was, uh, one of the first punk bands I got into. One of the first hardcore, you know, punk bands I got into. I was, uh, I think I was 15, 16, around the first time I heard, uh, Straight Edge. I heard that song and I was like, wow, this is pretty killer stuff because... You know, Minor Threat was one of the bands that influenced a lot of the 80s, you know, metal bands, you know. But, uh, yeah, these guys totally kick ass. They had a very unique sound of their own, much like Black Flag did. And they they were around around the same time Black Flag was when uh, Damage came out and, uh, you know, My War came out. But uh, this is Minor Threat's first record from 1983. This is Out of Step. This is... Uh, one, as I said in one of my previous videos, one of the first hardcore records I ever got into. It's super fast. It's really raw. It's heavy. It's, you know, it's got a lot of great bass lines in it. It's a great album and it's super short. It's only like 21 minutes long. Yeah, it's super insanely badass. But yeah, I got into Minor Threat at a pretty young age, you know, as I said. But, uh, yeah, they're, when I first heard them, you know, they were, uh, really unique had their own unique kind of punk sound. They they didn't sound like the Ramones. They didn't sound like, you know, GBH or, uh, you know, the Exploited. You know, they had their own unique sound, which is great, you know, because uh, hardcore punk, especially in the early 80s, was, the, was a big influence on thrash metal, especially bands like Metallica, bands like GBH and Discharge were big influences on bands like, you know, Metallica, as I said, Anthrax and Slayer and... Sodom and Creator, bands like that, Destruction. So yeah, um, it's eight songs. Uh, the songs are Betray, It Follows, Think Again, Look Back and Laugh on the first side. And on uh, side B, we got Sob Story, No Reason, Little Friend, and the title track, Out of Step. Um, yeah, this was uh, a very influential record on a lot of other bands, and it's uh, one of the best hardcore punk records I I've ever heard. Probably my top five favorite hardcore records. So yeah, um, if you could find this on vinyl, for sure, give it a listen. It's one of the best, one of the best hardcore albums, you know. Definitely give it a listen. And uh, what I have right here, this is uh, Minor Threat's uh, first two 7-inch EPs bundled into one, uh, one record here, which is really cool because uh, this album was uh, even faster than uh, Out of Step. You know, because um, I wouldn't really call this like a like a sophomore album. It's more more just like a uh, like a compilation of their first two EPs. But uh, it's still a great, fast, heavy album because it's uh, it's more raw. It's more. Uh, it's even shorter. I think it's only like seventeen minutes. It's um, it's a lot a lot more uh, noisy and fast. And it's just really badass. Um, over there I have the poster for it. You know, I can show you. Right up there is the Minor Threat uh, EP poster. I got that when it came with the album. Um, for some albums, for certain bands, I like to take the lyric sheet out and turn it into a, a poster, which is cool. But uh, songs on here for side one. We got Filler, I Don't Want to Hear It, Seeing Red, Shred Edge, Small Man, Big Mouth, Screaming at a Wall, Bottle of Violence, in the title track, Minor Threat. Side two, we got In My Eyes, Out of Step, Guilty Being White, Stepping Stone. Out of Step was uh, recorded, I think, before their Out of Step record for this album. But uh, yeah, this was originally released in 81. I think it was re-released in 84, right after Out of Step came out. And uh, I consider this to be a kind of like a, a second, you know, a, a second album, even though uh, it's not really considered to be that because these are already, all these songs were already available on previous EPs. But, you know, it's cool to have, you know, to have these two records on vinyl especially is awesome because this is a classic hardcore punk album. I think I might even prefer it over Out of Step, but yeah, this is uh, awesome. My favorite song on here is probably Filler, the first song. Um, it's a great song. I like Stepping Stone, In My Eyes. I like them all. They're all great. Um, so definitely check these albums out for sure. They're some of the best hardcore records ever made. And uh, I think uh, some of the best. So, yeah, definitely get into Minor Threat if you're trying to get into hardcore punk. Or, you know, you know, early 80s punk rock. 
Um, yeah, this was, uh, I think, influential. Uh, these records were definitely influential on bands like Pennywise and Rancid, you know. 90s skater bands were influenced by this record for sure. Bands like Slayer, when they covered uh, some Minor Threat songs on their album from 96. Undisputed Attitude, that was the name of it. Um, yeah, that was a great album. Uh, and they covered a bunch of hardcore bands on it, especially Minor Threat. They covered Filler. Um, a lot of other songs. But uh, this is a classic record. Definitely get into it if you can find these two records. And uh, Minor Threat released one more EP, I think in 85, called uh, Salad Days. Uh, it's pretty good. It's got some decent stuff on it. But uh, yeah. So yeah, that's it, guys, for Minor Threat. If you can, if you guys can find these two records, for sure, get into them. And uh, that's my little, uh, that's my little talk about Minor Threat. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next time, guys.